Hi everybody, Paul here. I want to show you how to inspect a variable valve timing solenoid, also referred to as a variable valve timing oil control valve, and how to know if it's bad. This part sends information to the vehicle's computer to determine ignition timing and adjust valve lifter operation. Activation occurs when the vehicle is pulling additional weight, traveling uphill, or when the gas pedal is quickly pushed down. This part is located at the front of the engine, on the pulley side, somewhere below the valve cover. Mine happens to be located right here. A faulty variable valve timing solenoid can cause a check engine light to turn on, which can show a number of different trouble codes, which I've listed in the description of this video, and can be found with a diagnostic scanner. If you do not have a diagnostic scanner, then take the vehicle to an auto parts store, which will normally perform this service for free. A variable valve timing solenoid can be faulty due to not receiving the proper voltage, being worn out, being coated with varnish, being dirty or low oil in the engine, or even from a dirty clogged variable valve timing solenoid filter screen. To inspect the operation of the variable valve timing solenoid, we'll first need to unplug the electrical connection attached to it. Next, turn the ignition key to the on position. Do not start the vehicle. Next, take a digital voltmeter and set it to DC volts. Touch the two test leads to the two electrical connections. And as you can see, we have voltage. If there's no voltage, then you'll need to check for shorts in the wiring. Next, remove the ignition key. Now we'll need to remove the variable valve timing solenoid to inspect its operation. It's usually held by just one bolt. Once the bolt is removed, we're ready to remove the oil control valve. One thing that I found helps to remove these is twist back and forth as you pull it straight out with your hand. If you still have trouble removing it, then just get a screwdriver and gently put some leverage on the oil control valve to get it started coming out. Next, we're going to use the battery on the vehicle to test the variable valve timing solenoid. Take two alligator clip test leads and attach them to the two electrical connections on the variable valve timing solenoid. Now take the other ends of the alligator clips and attach one to the negative battery connection and touch and release the other one on the positive battery connection to see if the valve moves freely back and forth. If it does not move back and forth freely, then it might need to be replaced. In this case, it moves back and forth freely just fine. Next, we need to measure the coil resistance. Set your digital voltmeter on the 200 ohm setting and place your two probes on the two electrical connections. This shows 7.6 ohms, so this is in the acceptable range. You'll need to find the ohms range for your specific coil. If it's not in the acceptable range, then you'll need to replace it. Next, we need to check to make sure the coil is not grounded. Set your digital voltmeter on the 200 ohm setting and place one probe on the bracket. Now take the other probe and check each electrical connection. You should not get a reading. If you do, then you need to replace it. Now a lot of people think if everything's good up to this point that the valve is fine, but that's not necessarily true. You also want to make sure that it feels smooth when you manually move the valve back and forth. If it's heavily coated with varnish from not changing your oil regularly, then you can soak just the valve from here to here in a special cleaner. If after cleaning it, it still doesn't feel smooth when you move it back and forth, or if you have a grinding sound, then you need to replace it. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.